Namaste. I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as a consultant dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bengaluru. Light and light brown colored spots on a dark skin is basically a variation in the pigmentation. So any variation in the pigmentation is not because of one reason, but it is because of multiple factors. One common thing in India is because of the hot and humid climate, there can be a lot of perspiration. There can be a lot of sweating and this itself can give rise to fungal infection. This is called as pityriasis versicolor. This is a superficial infection where there is no itching but people develop a lot of tiny spots in the sides of the face, neck, sometimes the upper chest, upper back and shoulders. Second common thing is because of the sun there can be a sun allergy and that gives rise to patches on the cheeks, sometimes on the forehead, in the neck, especially on the back side of the neck. So in these areas sun induced allergy is very common. Apart from that, many a times people can have mild dandruff reaction. Commonly dandruff is thought to be in the scalp, but it can also involve your eyebrows, eyelashes, this entire around the mouth and around the nose area, beard area. So even in this condition, people can develop either a light colored patch or sometimes red scaly patch also can be there. Apart from that, sometimes when there is nutritional deficiency, people get a lot of dyspepsia where they develop small patches and scaling on the face. Not only that, even a dry skin can give rise to a light colored patch. Especially in children, it is very common on the cheeks. That's called as pityriasis alba. So simple treatment of putting moisturizer to children's skin will help to solve that problem. Other conditions which are not so common are post-inflammatory depigmentation where because of some allergy-like reaction, there are small patches which happen. Either these patches can be light colored or they can be milky white. So sometimes these milky white patches start as light colored spots. So that is why any light colored patch or a spot on the face can't be ignored. And rarely there are some conditions where people have small confetti like pigmentations on the face, on the dorsal of hands and on the feet. So these are not so common but they are more genetic, nothing to get scared about that. And another condition called as idiopathic gutted hypomelanosis where the spots are much more lighter. They can happen because of a genetic tendency and sometimes it happens over a period of time. With aging, a lot of people develop these spots on the outer aspects of the arms, rarely on the chest and abdomen or on the legs. But it's not a vitiligo, nothing to worry as such. So hypopigmented patches or light colored patches on a dark skin is because of multiple factors. The moment we recognize the exact reason for that, treatment becomes very simple and easy and you can get cleared of them very easily.